Hi, I'm Marion Spence, the archivist at Upper Canada College, and I'd like to share with you one of the fascinating stories of Upper Canada College. On March 11th, 2008, UCC had a significant 50th anniversary. A half century ago, in 1958, the original Deer Park building had to be evacuated. It was in danger of collapse. This was the third building to house UCC. Did you know that UCC has had four different buildings? On the first day of school, January 8, 1830, 57 students entered this building. Known as the Old Blue School and located on the southwest corner of Lombard and Jarvis Streets, this school was also known as the Royal Grammar School and eventually became Jarvis Collegiate. In 1831, UCC moved to its first permanent location at Russell Square, now the site of the Royal Alexandra Theatre. UCC stood at the corner of King and Simcoe Streets. On the four corners stood a school, a government building, a church, and a tavern. The four corners came to be known as education, legislation, salvation, and damnation. In 1877, the building was renovated and enlarged. The very existence of the college was challenged in the 1880s. This caused the formation of the Old Boys Association. The Old Boys persuaded the government to buy the land in Forest Hill, also known as Deer Park, and supply $100,000 to build a new school. UCC's third building opened in 1891, but architect William Durand was unable to supervise construction and that led to immediate problems. The school wasn't built to specifications and as a result, the clock tower began sagging as early as 1900. Even the door frames had sagged. In 1958, the college wanted to renovate. An engineering firm discovered that the clock tower and much of the college's structure were unsound. And on March 11, 1958, the school was evacuated. For the next two years, classrooms were in portables, the prep, and the chapel. Here is a music class in the Memorial Dining Hall. And Mr. Sharp, teaching in a basement room in Wed's house. The gym was used for assembly. Demolition began in spring 1958. Here are some pictures of that demolition. Openings in the brickwork for pipes and wiring were too big and numerous, and this had weakened the structure. In addition, some wood beams had become damp, a breeding ground for larvae. Collapse was imminent. During the demolition, a movie was made, The Wreck of the Old Building. Here are some excerpts from that movie. This cloister, linking the old fabric with the new, stands as does the school itself between a proud past and a greater future. This was the main building of Upper Canada College. It was completed in 1891 and was in use for 67 years. In the summer of 1957, an upper floor of this building was found to be sinking. Repairs were made immediately and architects and engineers were set to examine the whole structure. On the 11th of March, 1958, the experts made their report. The building was unsafe. It had to come down.
The Emergency Building Fund Committee was formed to raise money to build a new school. Led by Robert Laidlaw and Bruce Matthews, the committee raised over $3 million. Today, that would be worth over $55 million. The new UCC building opened in September 1960. UCC has a proud past, and it is thanks to its community of old boys, parents, friends, and students that it will always have a greater future.